buy some space. They're going to need to build up Trader Bounty Hunter, get those track kills racked up. We have seen Bounty Hunter Ricky on the same team before, and it does make it a bit more economic for Adroit to invest in lots of sentries. You're, you're going to be spotting out potentially two heroes on a map. So it does give you a lot more strength per sentry you buy. It does make it much easier for Adroit to commit to that, which means you're not going to get as much scouting potential from the Bounty Hunter, perhaps. So that is something TNC has to watch out for as well. No, can't disagree with that, John. Of course, uh, we are still waiting on that final ban from TNC. Uh, Adroit, they didn't end up getting rid of the Queen of Pain. And it only makes sense when you've got a DP mid. You don't really want to have to go up against the Quap. TNC, they will get rid of the Kunkka pickup now. And what's left? How do we finish this? It does seem like they are waiting uh, for their own mid core now up against that Death Prophet. Of course, it is still like the Death Prophet is flexible. We have seen it being run in the offlane uh, quite a fair bit recently, so. Wouldn't be too surprising if they chose to switch that up and put it in the offlane. Not to, not, the thing is with it though, it's not really the strongest offlane pick. Like it doesn't. It yeah. has it has a weird presence in the offlane. I, I think mm. what's really interesting with this draft is that none of the spirits are banned out. So Void Spirit, Ember Spirit, and Storm Spirit are all viable options here for either side. I think it's going to be stronger for TNC to pick one of those high mobility heroes. Uh, Adroit's gonna have a rougher time, mainly because you already have the Underlord Root, which you have to play around. The silence from the Ricky can be potent, although there is nothing more instantaneous than that. So there's still some leeway, it's still not the easiest time. I wouldn't be surprised if TNC opted for maybe an Ember Spirit to help them deal with a Turblade. I think there's a lot of value in that pick here. Just melt through that sniper. armored instead. Oh. They go with a sniper! Disgusting. Um, this, this looks like a pub draft. Ricky. <laughs> Underlord. I mean... That, that just basically looks like every 4K game you queue in sometimes, you know. And the Sniper is an interesting last pick. Um, should have a decent lane. Uh, gonna be rough in the early game, mind you. Like, that's not the best matchup. Sniper is a bit iffy in his first three levels, but once Five you start to pick up, you can me. hold your own at the very least. You're not gonna be finding too many kill opportunities. You can kind of work this nicely. Like, say Soulbind comes out, you have two tracks on, you can... 360 no scope two heroes so you get a lot of value from the sniper if you play your cards right this should help them escalate with a bounty hunter with that burst pick up hero. the bat fighter that's a great way to go into the back line pick up rml put mm. him out of the fight drag him close where he doesn't want to be and it's it's just a really different set of drafts from both teams it is it is i, I gotta say i do like the bat rider finishing right because even even though it's, it's obviously picked up to try and catch out that sniper with the lasso, it works well up against the Gabby Ricky. You know, Ricky is already a... It has blink strike, but it doesn't have the greatest turn rate. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have the greatest time farming. you got a Batrider uh, spamming sticky napalm. It's going to suck, uh, to say the least. So a, drawing, a nice finishing for them. Both drafts, I agree, look very, very different to what we're used to seeing. I suppose I should ask you, John, because uh, we are at the end of the draft, uh, and there are some high stakes in today's series. Who looks better to you? I'd have to say Adroit. I think their lineup okay. just fits into their playstyle much stronger. The combinations they can have uh, don't take too much to get online. It doesn't take too much effort to have them work out as well. Uh, you have a lot of potency with Bach and Batrider, as you mentioned. Even Gabby's going to be a pretty easy target, but I think the main one's really Armel. Just a very targeted pick to that sniper. We have seen snipers struggle. And always just hide away. You, you never know where he is, even if you can scout for that shrapnel. So Bach is always going to be finding Armel, and you're going to lose a lot of value from that sniper in that sense. Versing it's not not the biggest deal. So it's it's kind of a 50-50 matchup between these two. And uh 
I can't disagree. Like, you look at the group stages, you look at how they kind of are, their standings right now, and you can't really disagree with those. The odds, though, that bot lane, there could be a very early first bot lane, nice snowball dodge on the ink swell, but they are completely surrounded here onto Boomy, and Boomy should end up through it, dying, and... Well, does he? No! No, he does not! They didn't have another blink strike available on Gabby at the time, he couldn't finish the job off. And although he'll have to run all the way back to the fountain, they do avoid giving away that first flood. Time to man or woman up. Come on, creeps! Hit those other creeps! Well, we'll get into the lane stage. Of course, we do see Gabby on that Ricky. Ironically enough, we'll have March there as well on the Bounty Hunter. Looks like he'll be just trying to set up for a bit of early harassment in this off lane. He'll have Tims there as well. You've got this uh, amazing combination uh, in the Bounty Inkswell, which can be quite devastating. In fact, are they already going? Yeah, they are. Pock. He's just not allowed to follow up his creep wave. March is going to uh, really give it to him. Bob. Yeah. Boomy, actually. He's gonna find a nice courier. Знаешь, она у тебя разминочная, то есть ты там прикликиваешь. I mean, you look at KP as well, the Underlord, they really gave it to him. Uh, with that first first metamorphosis timing, Natsumi just moving forward with CML and just harassing the hell out of KP. In fact, they're gonna go for more now, Natsumi. Does spot him out. He'll leave them be for now, as KP is just gonna try and soak XP in the tree line, throw out a firestorm and try to force out the wave. And CML is just gonna haunt this man. The Scorching Zen will fly out, but there's gonna be no follow-up to it. But it seems both teams agree that these offlaners do not deserve any sort of farm. And uh, they will ensure that they have the most uh, most atrocious time possible this game one. Yeah. Things are going very, very well for Armel, and you'd imagine this should be the way the lane goes all together, right? Like, the sniper really shouldn't suffer up against the Death Prophet. But instead, perhaps the goal to Bok now. The Bok is still trying to soak XP, but he's gonna have to leave the lane. They're gonna try and bring the Oracle into at least get some XP here. And CML gonna dive in, but he is surrounded by creeps right now. He needs to get out of there. Gabby's gonna blink in, and CML probably will die. Though no, he gets a sound off from Boomy. He does take one of the tricks of the train strikes, and they're gonna try and turn with Gabby now. But one has to TP with the snowball. We'll cancel it off, Gabby. He'll be the first blood in this game, number one, and CML will be the one to pick it up. And what a way to do it. Looks like he was going to be the one to pick up the kill. 
Matt had a very fire on him and just popped and turned around with the Crypt Swarm. Boomy now going to rotate here onto Armel. Can he actually get a strike on? He can, but there's no real follow-up to it. Still, with that kill for on, on Matt, like the fact that he just found that Bounty Hunter, you could argue he's basically caught up in lane now. Yo, green dudes, something bad is happening in your bottom. Bok. Bot lane gonna be chased down Gabby. Just not gonna complete the chase, and Bok will be able to TP out again. Only thing is, he, he did TP all the way to the fountain, but he had no regen. And uh, it's gonna be a bit of a shame for him. He's gonna have to, have to make the walk of shame back towards that bot lane. Yo, green dudes, something bad is happening in your bottom. We saw this from uh, from TNC from yesterday's series. Like, they just like to create all kinds of havoc uh, in the first couple minutes, and then it just ends up going back to normal. And, uh, we saw it again now. Still, at least you look at KP on the Underlord. He's been able to catch up in levels now. He's hit that level 5 mark, so... He's sitting a lot prettier. Uh, much more so than Bob, who's level 4. He's currently being dived. Blink Strike from Gabby. He's going to keep up this chase, but... I don't think they can. In fact, they're going to go and try to turn this adroit. Can you really do it? Gabby is going to be the main target. Sport Z and Sharp Zoom next bar. He'll be over with the fire fly, but they have stick charges. Gabby will heal up. Now they will turn even more boomy. Trying to get out of there. Do you have another blink strike? It looks like you will in five seconds. And boomy, he should be dead. Ink Swap connects. Gabby, he will pick up a double kill. And a droid, I mean, it was a bit of wishful thinking to try and go and try to uh, counter that team fight. Certainly, of course, mid lane. What is going on here? Our no, he's getting dived and he's dead. Snowball as well. Gonna jump off the Tims. Mac was in it, and Tims just can't sustain that. And now a droid should be able to just grab the mid T1 tower for themselves with this exorcism. And, you know, we've seen a droid do this before, John. They're very good at really revolving around their hero timings. And Mac really making full use out of that first ultimate. Guys, middle tower got owned. What you gonna do? Get mad or get even? He's got no way out. He's just dead enough. Sumi joins in and with the metamorphosis, they're gonna push another T1 tower. Even yeah. Mac, he found March again. Ah, Mel? He'll be okay. Luckily, he did have his, have his support Grimstroke there to help him out, but they're going to lose their mid-T1 and bot-T1, and this is going to pretty much open up the whole Radiant Jungle to the way of a droid. And, uh, well, KP, he's trying to find the top-T1 tower, but a droid, I mean, they've just found such amazing trades already, and they've got a 2k net work lead at eight and a half minutes in. TNT, I don't think they can play this draft from behind. They need to try and catch up real quick. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Batman's top is all nasty and brokey.
try. Looks like a Droid's not even concerned about that. Boomy, gonna get jumped here by Gabby and Trapman will come in from Arm now. Mac is gonna be there to help and Snowball is gonna lock onto the Ricky, but Gabby with a nice dodge with the tricks of the trade and they will eventually finish off that job with the uh, assassinate from Arm now. And Gabby not having to dive any deeper. been killed. It's gonna be a while. And so both teams back to the drawing board, just gonna get back to farming. Mac of course he does have the exorcism back up, but it's uh gonna be a matter of when the meta's up and it actually just comes off cooldown. So not Sumi. He's ready to go. If you did want to try and get another T1 or more so a T2 tower, uh, in this case, you probably could try and go for it if you grouped up as five here for a droid. Natsumi, he does have a siege creep down to that bot lane, so they may actually attempt this. As we do see KP using his dark group, where's he off to? No, he cancelled it off. He just thought he may have been in trouble. But instead, the side of a droid, they go down bot, you have the terror blade, you have an exorcism, and that's exactly what they're gonna do. They go on to the T2 tower. Great TNC. I mean, they've got great high ground uh, defense if it can't, if it comes to it. But you don't want to really get to that point. Still, they don't really have any answers to, to defend with this kind of draft they've gone for. Dyer's courier. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. March understands he's dead and he's gonna just try and run, but Gabby jumps in, they'll jump up to CML. CML does have the false promise. So there's really no point in that. And now more rotations to come, Bob. He has the lasso. Do you wanna make the play? Well there's no way to close the gap for Bok right now, so they won't chase any further. Better make it a three to seven. All lanes still being forced in by a droid. Uh, TNC just kind of stuck five manning trying to find that mid T1. Top of the net worth boards. I mean, it's it's Terrorblade and DP. Like, and I agree with you. They haven't done anything to actually try and slow them down. Now, Mel, he's just trying to desperately catch up on the sniper, and he'll have a maelstrom up soon. So he did, he will have that B push potential on the sniper. But it seems like that's kind of what they're locked into. Like, until they get those core items up on their uh, on their core sniper or on the core Ricky, it just seems like they can't do anything. Sewed up. He's gonna try and run, but he understands he's probably dead all those stick charges. 
<laughs> It'll force City Mill to take the kill with the Purifying Flames. That's going to be two more deaths going the way of TNC as they did also lose March in that mid lane. Two Mac on the DP. You know, Green Deuce, something bad is happening in your body. And, uh, well, at least March is level six now, I guess. Like, now you've got track. Then again, we're at almost 15 minutes in. That is a very, very late level six time we've finally seen it. That's the thing. You find a kill, doesn't matter what it is, as long as you got that bounty hunter around, it's worth a lot more gold than Boomy. I understand he is probably also dead. Tim's will be the one to take it with the ink swell. It's just even for a support, they made about 500 gold out of that tusk kill. And it is uh, just looking better and better as time goes on for TNC. I suppose you still do have to be very wary about Natsumi though, he is still at the top of the net worth order and is still farming very well, about to hit that 9k mark in terms of net worth. But TNC, did, it, it seems like TNC are really putting all their chips in iron on the sniper, right, to just be able to deal with it. Yeah, it's a big kill. Gabby did just get his defusal blade and well, he doesn't really get to use it effectively. He does end up dying straight off the bat. You do have a drain now with those ultimates back up, so they definitely could attempt to make another push, but they do appear to be very cautious about how this game is going now. Yeah, it's a trap to the top, and you're not going to fall work. In fact, they've done enough zooming now 
Forcing up the false promise from CML. They won't try it any longer, and uh, I don't know if the Sunder was necessary not to me, but uh, he does it just in case. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Oh, fuck. Jumps in, no lasso available, they pop the X's and the will be there, and they found our no! The sniper's down, and now Gabby trying to trick the train away, but he's got nothing to blink to, his team's left him! Nobody there to help as Bok was chasing them down on the bow line of KP, he'll be the next target, the fruit type him up, and KP has nowhere to go! And you know, you wouldn't expect a joint to run in like that without lasso. But they surprise everybody, including us, and they find a very successful team fight. up the ages on the terror blade and suddenly a droid has the 3k net worth lead. At trade, TNC are playing slightly from behind. They're going to have to watch out for that Aegis now. It gives them a lot more leeway on a droid side. Natsumi's not going to be as scared to stand forward. TNC has to be cautious about that bait because Natsumi's just so fine standing way far forward. It's, it could be a problem for TNC if they're always going to be jumping onto that Terrorblade. Like, they, they have done it, what, two times now? Almost? Where you know, the first time kind of works out, the second time doesn't. So uh, they're, they're going to have to ensure that they have enough burst damage. Itru Natsumi twice over. Doesn't feel like they're quite there yet. You know, like, the damage is still somewhat lacking from Armel. Gabi still only has his defusal. And oh, even March is not. March, uh, Thank you for the Roshan time. It's March. Always appreciate that. You at those down jump? Oh yeah. We might need to play the wrong. Definitely. Yep, got them in my head. Thanks, March. Thank you. Uh not soon he's gonna have the item set for up jump. What Yeah, that's uh that's gonna be What does that even do? We don't see that. It Radiant it has a fear ability, a wave that goes so out in all directions and having fear. The, that okay. is pretty strong control. That is something a droid lacks in a wide AoE. They don't really have the best thing to follow up on that uh, with wide AoE as well, but that gives them something. I, I've never seen that one uh, come out before. This is very new. This will be interesting. It's not so new. It's gonna learn that KP is in the tree line. March is definitely there with it. They're gonna try and hunt this terror blade down, Natsumi. He does have friends around the area in his own jungle, but he does feel quite safe. He still has the Aegis anyway. Although, KP, if caught, does Dark Rift, he'll be perfectly fine. March will also be able to just run his way out. Or... We have to... He'll have to be a little bit careful. He shows himself now, and they know he's there, but... CML. Jump on. Yeah, he actually does it in the right place. Mark gets caught out. And meanwhile, in the mid lane, Bob and Matt do end up finding Gabby on the Ricky. Green dude's top thing. Two more easy kills for the side of a droid, and they just seem to be thinking one step ahead of TNC. And by the way, John, the uh, the axe is up now, so I get to enjoy this. Uh, well, I haven't seen it. This will be very interesting for me. Yeah, that's 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 something we never see for the most part, at least in the games we've covered. So I'd love to see that effect. It does sound really strong. Like yeah, that that screw, that wave of fear is pretty strong. We've seen that effect before. It's something we talk about with say Queen of Pain at 25. There's a lot of utility from that kind of spell. The bot lane, we do see Armel. He does end up taking out the task. So a nice little kill there onto Boomy. And. Uh... Radiance middle to the point. Since. Five Bok, there was Armel. Armel took a lot of damage, and Bok just could not run away. Armel is starting to really hit hard. 
from that sniper. 24 minutes in, they will finally be able to commit and claim that T1 in the tower. Tower has fallen. TNC can be feeling a, a little bit better about themselves with that P1 going down. Gives them a lot more control back in the map. Should allow them to get a couple of rotations in. Something we didn't talk about from Madroid though. Uh, Boomy did finish up his own blink earlier on. So you have a lot of ways of saving people out in a tight spot. We haven't seen it to great effect just yet. We haven't seen Adroit really leverage your blink daggers on even Bok right now to a uh, full effect just yet. So should be looking forward to seeing that again they still have the ages you'd think that you'd want to make a move while that's up but adroit just doesn't feel compelled to take a 5v5 they've been finding the bigger pickoffs they've been clearing the objectives off the map it is fairly even in terms of towers taken but that one tower advantage does give adroit just a little bit more reach here okay big trouble bop doesn't want to come in and now gabby's gonna show himself on the ricky bop falling very very low we did have the Essence Ring, which does uh, allow them to survive pack. Are they going for more? Yeah, they are. There's the Metamorphosis coming out. And Natsumi does claim to kill off the Tins and now has the Terror Wave. Would love if it told me how long it feared, but it is done after all. We can't have that. The Bounty does also get caught out. March does go down. H is expires though, so Natsumi is not going to have that second life. You're going to have to be a bit cautious as they go for this tier 2 push. Wild well, Mill, going to find Boomy by himself in the Radiant Side jungle apparently. Not sure we're really sure what Boomy was doing there in the first place, but we're just trying to get a few wards down. He will lose his life. Don't get the pleasure of seeing the Terror Wave, John. Not now. Wait until the Metamorphosis is back up. And the Droid, once again, just pull back. Refresh. They've got a BKB on Mac now. Couldn't be much happier to just stand in front, do his damage. Doesn't have to worry about the magic damage coming out or the control. Isn't the tankiest DP just yet, but you're reaching that point where you're not going to be bursting down Mac all too fast anymore. So you do have a lot more leeway here how these fights do break out. It's just the sniper, right? Like, Definitely. once you've got to read the sniper, it's all good. Yeah, it's really just Armella right now. Like, Gabby has a Yasha on top of the defusal. That's nice. Not not enough. Oh, KP. Last one up by Bob does go down. Now they want to go for more. They pop the Exism and they found March. There's just sentries everywhere. CML has ensured that none of this map does not have detection. And now, they can claim another T2 tower. This is the final outer tower on the map. You don't have metamorphosis, but you will have it in 30 seconds. No need to rush. Matt will be able to get Gabby Wolf trying to go for the, uh, for the deny play, but it doesn't quite get there in time. And it's gonna be a 13 to 21, but more importantly, John, 6K net worth lead. For the side of Adroit, all out of towers down. In TNC, they are certainly on the back foot. Definitely are. I, th this is where they're going to shine. High ground defense with a sniper. One of those things where it can kind of be impregnable. The only thing that, I mean, at the very least, Adroit do have the Bat Rider and Tusk to deal with that. Those heroes can kind of get that done. I love the buildup from Boomy as well, straight into the Ags after that blink. So they can kick the sniper back if for some reason they can't, their, can't get their Bat Rider lasso in place. Or, you know, go back, kick back the sniper, get the Ricky on lasso if you have detection. You suddenly take out those two big cores. TNC still have been kind of waiting around, right? We uh, we expected them to be a bit more aggressive with the tracks. Up that way, they, they haven't. They haven't been able to isolate Adroit enough to really build off Widow's track kills. That is causing them to play from behind. And you do have decent farm on Armel. Like he has that Mjolnir up. He is starting to be that machine gun sniper we all know and hate to play against. But can we get yeah. more there? It seems as though Boomy is just always the one, you know, having to take the riskiest to farm and he continues to get caught out, but you know what, I don't think Boomy cares. Like, Boomy's just getting levels, he's getting a bit of farm, he knows his, what, his life is really worth nothing, it's, it's fine. Though Bark, however, would be a problem if he died, but should be fine as well. He does force staff and blink away, 
and it looks like he is going to be out of range. And in case the droid did not have enough of a lead job, uh, Natsumi finds the Paladin Sword. Yeah, just blessed. Every single time, you know, every single time we cast a game, a core gets the tier 3, it's almost always a Paladin Sword onto the hardcore. So, nice little pickup for Natsumi, gives him a lot more utility, lots more deployed, so much more durability, just with that lifesteal onto him. Do we have the Spirit Vessel yet? No, no Spirit Vessel up on March yet, so you're getting a lot of value from that item. Not going to be mitigated just yet, like that coming out anytime soon. I think it's about time that, uh, that Arno gets an eye sky. That's what I think. <laughs> Oh no, you, you spent enough time with this Mjolnir. Forget about the Lincoln oh. Spear, sir. Back then on my map, Bot gets a lasso off on the Tins, and well, poor Tins can't do anything about it. He'll try to force stuff and actually does run away with Boomy. <laughs> Knocks him out with the uppercut. The tower is under attack. We're detecting high levels and with of that, Captain. another support off the board. Uh, well, TNT, in all fairness, they aren't hiding in their base or anything like that. They are still roaming the, ra the map quite confidently, but does they don't there. They'll get the Yules off eventually. We'll march. Doing his best to, uh, to die as much as possible. In all fairness, it does give his uh, his other core space to just farm up safely. He's, he's just tanking the gank job. Definitely. We've seen that. It's the same story with Boomy, it's the same story with March and Tim. They're giving space to their course, they're doing their job. A rough situation all around for both sides. So if someone's gonna die, it might as well be the sports. You know, you expend that lasso for Grimstroke, you're not too upset. You expend a lot of spells for March, who was just standing in that dire jungle for a very long time for whatever reason. You're not gonna be upset. That's time wasted from Droid, that's time you bought for TNC. Although the Roshan's gonna be up soon. And and that's what a droid is going to be looking at next. I love the fact that I look at uh, Boomy and he's just going straight for an Aghanim Scepter, by the way. Oh, yeah. You know, against the sniper, you've got Blink Axe. Like, you may as well just Blink and kick him kick him forward. You know? Fuck. Yeah, against KP again. This is not going to be the easiest kill in the world. Of course, KP does have Dark Grip, but he can't really pop it. Smoke Screen's going to help him out, but not enough. Boomy just preemptively popping his mouse to see if he can find Gabby Mac. Almost finds him. But Gabby will be able to get away just in time. And uh, Mark will also run for his life. You know what? They really are giving March a break. Like, he's still trying to finish off that spirit vessel. But every time you look at him, he's got a fresh set of sentry wards. Like, just let the man finish the item first. He can't. He can't. Someone's gonna have to play this warden game that the droid's playing. We mentioned it at the draft, but a droid gets so much value from buying these sentries out. They can see two heroes potentially scouting around, take out the vision as well. You just get so much utility from that set because there are two invis heroes on TNC side. And so that's the main reason why CML is just perfectly glad to be dirt poor. All he has is a Ghost Scepter, which is a bit of a luxury for a sport like him anyway. He has a way of saving himself if he's jumped by the Ricky or even just targeted by the sniper, he has some way of mitigating some of that damage. And once more, a droid will be able to take this Roche for free. Second Roche of the game, that is the cheese as well. So you're going to have to deal with a lot of um, lives here on a droid. You've got false bombs to worry about, the Sunder from Natsumi, the Aegis now as well, and the cheese. That's a problem. Because I had a quick uh, gander at Tim Johns. He's, John, he's going for an Agony Scepter. So, something tells me he probably could afford to get some wards and let, give March a bit of a break, but can't have that as a position four. And I suppose with that ink portrait, uh, it is going to be rather effective if you can get a copy of the Terror Blade. So, but you have to remember, Terror Blade could just kind of burst it down with, I believe, reflection should affect that. Not entirely sure. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake, March. No wonder he, ha he has no gold, John. He's put two sentry wards down on the same spot. Two eyes to see, Mike. Two eyes to see with, indeed. That explains a lot. I think he thought he had an observer ward there to put like a tinker ward down, but turns out he did not. 
I like that play. I'm not sure if you caught it, but March just went in when he saw Natsumi around, throws out the shirk and TP's out after taking the range creep. That's all he can. <laughs> you can't risk it of dying. Dota's all about the little things, John. And well, March does the little things very, very well. He, he just did. They add up. These small little efficiency plays do add up in the end. March gonna run into Boomy now, Boomy. Happily gonna run forward onto March. They know he's around there somewhere. They get the water punch off and March just melts. Just can't take the damage. I love this item buildup from Natsumi. He went straight for the butterfly this time around. No MKB, and that's not going to be out in Armel or Gabby anytime soon. You just can't prioritize it. We'll have a quick look at the uh, win probability while we're here as well. Oh, what's that? He's sitting at 73% as well. Gets a lasso off. He caught Gabby on the Ricky. The Manta, he will be able to walk away for now. Blue strikes away as well. A close call, but now Natsumi, he's onto the tier 3 tower, they repair kit, who's jumped in? It's Matt, he wasn't done, he got Gabby on the Ricky, just in front of his mouth, and now they found Mal no. they don't have the ads yet, but Natsumi's coming, he's tracking the shards, right in front of his fountain, how dare they? The buyback will come out from Mal no. they do find Boomy as a trade, and a joint, they're happy with the buyback committal, they will back off. That's a pretty successful defense from TNC. Like, no objectives fell. None of the towers even took significant damage here. So it did cost them a buyback, but Adroit's, uh, Adroit's keenness to find that fight does kind of cost them objectives. Still, they pull back, they can reset. They know Armel won't have a second life for a little bit longer, around seven and a half minutes. Although that might buy TNC enough time to farm up for that MKD. Armel does queue it up next. That'd be a good way to deal with that terribly now. You said Armel's getting a BKB job, looks like he's getting a Divine Rapier. Oh, oh, he switched. All right. Sweet. I mean, yeah. Sniper, Divine Rapier, natural combination. It, you can still deal with that TV. Yeah. It all works out quite fine. Gonna need some time to build up for it. Like, that's, that's not the fastest farm up, but if they prioritize all their farm on him as they have, he'll probably have it in around three to four if the, he gets that free time. And Droid, they've got to understand that they have a massive opening while that buyback status is off for Armel. Well, Droid, they're rotating top. They see the side of TNC. Can they, uh, can they get anything out of this? Everyone's here being bought. He's looking with the firefly and he may find KP and KP does get the dark rip. The rifle comes out from Bok. The dark rip should get him out. So at least you get my nice lasso wasted and well now you know exactly where the side of a droid are. Although March, still alone, but there's no detection on Mac. And for once, March will be able to run out safely. Better unfortunate. I mean it, you know, March is not worth too much. Kill the guy, it doesn't matter, he's just happy you're wasting time. I'm sure he's actually finished up the spirit vessel because he's queued up the or staff instead. Oh, not quite sure if he's finished it and the courier just waiting to fly out, but if he does have that spirit vessel, you are mitigating a lot of what's keeping. This is like, how long am I going to be available uh, in a team fight anyway to have that aura going? And well, a droid. Smoking up now, mid lane, they want to try and go for something. You do have the meta, you do have exorcism, and they start to move forward. A smoke up from TNC now, they don't want to reveal where they are. Meanwhile, Natsumi, he does finish off an Eye of Skadi on the turret lane, so you have that available. That is the new Eye of Skadi. They really don't want this Underlord surviving through the next team fight, and he has no buyback. He doesn't have the gold for it. And that'll be the first T3 tower of the game going down, and Natsumi will take the melee barracks very, very quick. So will try to repair him, but just does nothing. 
Four. Straight in, next objective. Well, easy, you've got that terribly. You've got Mejo up, although they are playing a bit more cautious. They do not have the lasso. They almost have a kick on Boomy, but not quite. 300 gold until the Ags is out. Of course, he has to ferry that out anyways. Gonna play a bit more cautiously without that catch. Gonna be happy with one set of racks. First racks of the game going the way of a droid. Does give him a lot more control. 22k enough for its lead. PNC still lagging severely behind. Armel is inching closer towards his divine though. Is that gonna make, I mean, it's gonna make a huge difference for, uh, for TNC, because then it's gonna be like, how do you reach the high ground? But once you have that Tusk adds up, like, Boomy's been real on point with this, uh, with this Tusk play today. It feels like as soon as you get kicked away, the game's kind of over. Like, once the divine has gone, that's it. That, that TNC has to be cautious about. Even, even without that kick, right, you have the lasso that Bok has. Like, if they really need to target our meltdown, they've got the lasso anyway. They've just got the backup in Boomy now as well, so they can take riskier plays. I believe it's flying out right now. So you're going to have that tool for the next high ground siege. Very nice. There it is. Boomy does have the eggs on. Uh, they will split out March, taking the outpost, and they're going to try and take it back in time. Boomy, he says no. I'm sick of March. I want his dead. That's exactly what Boomy does. He'll take out the bounty hunter once again. They uh, do manage to get the outpost back before that 40 minute mark ticks. And speaking of 40 minute mark, don't we do have tier 4 items? Oh yeah. A lot of them popping out. Ninja gear being dropped. Play not to me, I believe, sends it back. That himself. Because the Paladin Sword is just a bit too That innate lifesteal without taking up an extra slot. Lots of value in that. You wouldn't mind keeping the Illusionist Cape on the Terror Blade, though. Oh, yeah. And he does. He really does. Yeah. Gives you a lot more from those Illusionists. They, they already hit like trucks. Radiance top so when Metamorphosis is, is up, you pop that Manta, you pop the Conjure Image. It will basically melt all those towers. You know what? I thought a droid, they may wait uh, for the next Roshan, but no, they won't go now. Oh no, has the Divine Rapier up, however, Bot blinks in, couldn't quite find the lasso. And T3 being pulled up by the repair kit, and they'll commit the Fortify. It's uh, not going to be the easiest high ground, in fact, Divine makes it very, very hard. Mac, and you're rooted up, you'll be alright for now, but you go finally to walk away or burn. CML, he does end up dying by Gabby. So Natsumi will turn around. There's the fear coming up from Natsumi, but it was a bit too late. And without that Oracle, I don't think you make the push any longer. They do back out. Yeah, a lot of caution here from Adroit. You can see that the investment into Armel is paying off. So they've got high ground defense for days. They can't manage to save their tier trees. The racks are still up and standing. And TNC's gonna be very happy with how that went so far. Uh, a droid's gonna have to wait until the next metamorphosis is up. So there's gonna be some downtime for them. And that's something that TNC can maximize. Trying to group up around a Roche, but that's still about a minute off. Not gonna be able to find that just yet. TNC now feeling much more comfortable across the map, however. And, uh,. Regeneration. Well, they'll take over the die jungle for a little bit. They'll get a few more T4 items. In fact, with the Shaco, a very nice item for KB, who's uh really hasn't been as tanky as you would have liked to see from an underlord. And now, a drink smoked up. They're gonna scout out that Roshan pit though. It is about 10 seconds away from respawning. It's gonna be a extremely important Roshan for this next high ground attempt for a droid. And TNC, I don't think they can really afford to allow it to go down to a droid. I think they have to fight this. Definitely. They've got some tools to help them out here. Like, we haven't mentioned it, but Gabby does have the nullifier, so it, it gets a lot easier for him to trap someone in his tricks of the trade. It gets much easier to burst people down. They really can't escape. Not even the, that uh, Ghost Scepter is going to save anyone. So, he can catch the back line. There's no way for CML to save himself in that, in that case. I think that's going to be key for TNC. We saw what happened when Adroit lost their Oracle early on. They become hesitant to fight. They just always have to try to find CML in the back. 
with that nullifier, it should be pretty easy work for Gabby. Radiance courier has been killed. Oh, Tim's gonna lose his uh, point booster in the courier. Yeah, he was about a hundred gold off the Agony Scepter, but now we got point booster down. Even once he does have the gold, it's gonna be gone for three minutes. And the droid they will get started on the road shot. Blessing in there as well. Wonder who they're gonna prioritize it on. Perhaps the Bat Rider for the lasso chain? Or you don't mind giving it to the DP, right? Like Yeah, the damage is pretty nice. I'd say the utility from a double lasso is much stronger at this point, but it really depends on what they want more. Oh, it looks like they've actually given it to Natsumi. Natsumi will send his ads back. Wait, where is the ads? Still in his uh backpack. Okay, he's got it in the backpack. So he he took the blessing. He's got the ads in the backpack. Gonna sell that back. That is a pretty greedy play to say the least. But I suppose there aren't really the best Agony Scepter upgrades in the team. If that bot lane, they found K3, can give back to Luka Alphos, and not sure he's gonna take you in. This, this extra slot on Natsumi has got to pay off. A lot of value in just giving... Uh, oh, actually, Bok already has one. He has a blessing as well. Okay. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top barracks are under attack. <laughs> so you do have the answer. Side the Blast now also up on map. They're gonna make the push, not too many. Huh. Top rats, it will go down very, very easily. And exorcism will be popped straight down to the bot lane. Armel um, smoked up with his team, but it is already broken. Matt, gonna move down Gabby, we're going straight in. Force the VPP out of Matt, but the other side of the map is the Gabby. We'll get the first off early. The pick off mouse is gonna be quite nice, but you really, really only caught the task. And nobody ends up dying thanks to that false promise from CML. And Natsumi is still hitting away at that tower. What do you do about this? That's Megas. Of course, TNT. May go for a fun. Yeah, Gabby, he jumps in with another fun with the smoke stream, but there is an ace. And now there's another lasso coming out. Out the box. That's going to be devastating here for TNT. Is they're going to lose one in our middle? They'll lose the uh, boom stroke as well. But it's by a fact. But now Marx has died back. On the bounty hunter, can they find him? Maybe a second time. They can't for now. The soul line comes out from the team with a double charge from the TV. Son of Paul Loki, son of his, his darn, uh, his darn death proper map. He doesn't have ages, so he can't really risk dying. False promise, gonna keep him alive. He's gonna try to get the bit of Malice KP. Gonna kill you, man. They're gonna find a huge kill to Matsumi. But you've lost Mega Creeps. It's tough. It, it's a hard situation for Tian. Right, like they had to expend the buybacks again. They're gonna be down on the next defense. It's gonna be much harder for them. No buybacks left? Yeah, no buybacks left on any of them. Is gold lacking for Gabby's buyback as well? So he's gonna need to farm up to get that up and running. I mean, they, they do manage to get a big kill in a, that Terrorblade. Second time to die. They're gonna have to try to find an objective here. There's no Roshan, so all they can really hope for is to put tower down. Where did all those divines go? Man, dude, middle tower, everyone, go! It's on the task! Oh, that's right, he did die, he did buy back. But Boomy has the divine on the task on. Oh, man. Oh, god, yeah, that's okay. gonna be painful. Just blink in and punch. Kicks it back, KB, lose all the time because they drew from that. Two the mouse gonna be there though, you don't wanna give that divine back, but KB giving the horrors punch. There it is, moving a lot more HP as well. KB will survive through it. As Natsumi now will move in, will the field. Though Soulbind is gonna come out. The ink portion, did he actually get one? He did. It does end up killing CML. That portal does hit hard, but not hard enough as now. Boogie is continuing to chase. Gabby does not want to get punched in the face right now, but it looks like he has no choice. He gets punched. The divine is gone on Boogie, but the DD has been called anyway. The game's over. He ended up with the divine in the end anyway. What a play. He doesn't have grab a droid just really giving it to TNC. It looked like TNC had a couple of things going for themselves. The last pick snipe 